So this is the Secura G, and it's a test board for side channel analysis. And what I'm going to show you is that we can use the Spartan 6 LX9 device on it um, to interface to this module I've made, the Open ADC. So to do this, there's a bit of an adapter board that's needed um, that just fits on this bottom header here. And then the Open ADC plugs onto that. Then we take the shunt measurement from the amplified portion of this Cura G and we feed it directly into this board, which also has a bit of an amplifier on it. Um, and finally, we connect the, the trigger pin. So we go from the positive trigger input here and we just connect it to pin two on this header. So there is the final setup. And we plug the board in. I've also pre-programmed the ROM um, for this FPGA. So to do that, you need a Xilinx programming device, um, which you can buy either, you know, you can get these from DigiKey or something, or you can get these $30 ones off eBay or AliExpress. So they're clone versions, but they'll work well enough um, if you want a lower cost one. All right, so let's look at the software side. So on the software side, I have this program called Chip Whisper that can interface to this board. Um, so Chip Whisper, it's written in Python. I'm just using Eclipse to edit and run it. Um, so that's the analyzer. What I want is the capture utility. And that. Um, and the main window looks something like this. So it comes with scripts that basically there's a number of settings you can do. So, for example, you load the Open ADC, you set the Secura G, etc. Um, but what's even easier is you just run this script and it'll try to connect to it. I have to turn the board on here. Once the board's on run the script so it connects to it and it runs one capture so here we can see it running the AES and you can see the rounds um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and capture 5,000 you hit enter traces and you can actually confirm everything's working so it knows we're doing AES so and it knows what the encryption key is so it's checking that the expected text matches the um, or the text out given by the board matches what it expects it should be based on its own calculation all right, so now I just hit go, and you can see in the bottom corner here, it's counting up the number of acquisitions. So once that reaches 5,000, we can um, begin the attack. As another note, I'm using this native format, which saves it uh, to disk. You can also use a MySQL format, which is supported. It saves it to a server, so you can start attacking while you're still capturing. Um, but I won't show this here, so I'll just pause until the capture's done. All right, so there we are, the capture's complete. So I'll just save this project um, and overwrite this other one. All right, um, so now what we do is we run the that analyzer software. Here we go. So you don't have to open it in a click. You can just double click on the appropriate um, Chip Whisper Analyzer or Chip Whisper Capture. So I load this uh, thing I just captured to enable the traces. So it's got 5,000 traces, 396 points. So it'll automatically redraw one. If you want, you can redraw a bunch of them um, to check how alignment is, for example. And in this case, it's pretty good. We notice there is some error. Um, we can use pre-processing modules to deal with that, but I won't do this here. I'm just going to do a basic attack. So I do a hamming distance attack on the last key round. Um, I'm going to attack all the bytes. In this case, I'm using a progressive attack, which lets me print statistics as the attack goes. And every 500 traces I want to print, basically, the smaller this number is, the longer the attack will take um, because it's less efficient because it has to resort after however many, you know, the 500 traces. 
and I can update the entire table because it might be interesting to see. And we hit attack. And so it'll attack each of the sub keys um, for the first 500 traces and then print the, the partial guessing entropy as well as the ranked table here. And you more or less just have to wait for it to count up. So I'll just pause it until that's done. All right, so it's almost done attacking the final subkey. And so we can see it, it actually managed to find one of the correct bytes. So it highlights the correct key byte uh, in red. In this case, it's translated the key to the final round key. Um, because it knows we're attacking the last round key, and it also shows you the partial guessing entropy after those 500 traces. Um, so it'll just go through and do the same thing for all 5,000. So again, we'll edit to the end. Okay, so here the attack process is almost done. Uh, it's just doing the final sort of 500 traces here. And you can actually see in the traces window, it's completely recovered the correct key. Um, and the partial guessing entropy of each of the subbytes is zero. So once that's done, um, you can of course see different versions of the software add more and more features. So there's the classic correlation um, bytes. Uh, this one doesn't actually isn't showing you where the key is. But what's more interesting, and that's because there's an error in the current version of the code. Um, is the partial guessing entropy. So this is showing you the partial guessing entropy for the various key bytes. So I can turn all of them on here. And we can actually copy that data in different formats. So I'm gonna copy it in MATLAB format. And we could plot in MATLAB, for example, the partial guessing entropy. Um, so there you go. So you can see the partial guessing entropy of the various key bytes on the Secure G AES implementation um, using the Open ADC. So you can the the software will average too if you have more traces. So for example, if I had ten thousand traces, it would could run the attack over five thousand times twice and average them. Obviously, for any sort of meaningful results, you need that averaging. Um, to eliminate just sort of random noise artifacts. But that's a quick overview of how you can attack the Secura G um, using this Chip Whisperer software by just adding an open ADC on. So hope you enjoyed this.